Hey guys, it's me. I'm back and I'm bringing you another 3 for 1 video review. This review is going to be of the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Warrior Class Grumlock, Optimus Prime, and Autobot Drift. I say Warrior Class because that's what they're classifying the deluxe line for this main part of the toy line. Why the name change? We have no freaking clue. I mean, seriously, could just stick with Deluxe. It's what we know. But anyway, obviously we have Grimlock and his animated Godzilla-esque dinosaur mode. Optimus in a full-on semi-truck, and not just a cab. And Autobot Drift in a sports car. Oddly shaped sports car, but a sports car nonetheless. But like all my other multi-figure reviews, I'll go through each one separately, transform them separately, and then get them all back together for the end of the video. So let's begin. And we will begin by going over Grimlock. Like I said, Grimlock literally looks like an animated 20... 15, 2014 Godzilla. I swear to God, if they got this design from the Godzilla movie, I will laugh and then probably shit my pants. But anyway, he is mostly green and black with a little bit of light gray for his forearms, but metallic orange, almost a copper for spots in his hips or what will be his robot shoulders. I think the same color for the crest on his head, a little bit of silver. And light blue for his eyes. That's about it for a color. And obviously the QR code for the game app. That's it. Articulation. Not much. But at least you get some. Ball jointed shoulders for dinosaur arms. Swivels just before the hips. Hinged hips. Swivels. Hinge. That's about it. But one thing about this figure is... He has open mouth. Chomp, 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 chomp. Yeah, definitely a good feature for this figure. But anyway, to transform him, he is pretty easy. But definitely worthwhile in the end. What you want to go ahead and do is grab him by the hips and pull out these entire sections like so get him out of the way reach back here and fold up his robot feet like this then pull these sections apart like so so you can go ahead and then separate the rest of the tail Rotate this section around until this tab right here, where my finger is, goes into this slot on this side of the tail. And push it in at this joint right there. Now you have one leg. Do the same thing for the other set leg, but for this side, you got to fold in the tip of the tail. There you go. Now you have two legs. For the rest... Of robot mode you just fold his dinosaur forms back as you're doing that fold these sections up like so the finish forming his torso then rotate his dinosaur arms all the way back S straighten his arms rotate them at the elbow 180 degrees and then flip out his robot hands from inside his forearms and even though this is in complete robot mode, this still looks kind of freaking funny. But the piece de resistance, fold this all the way back, and now you get Grimlock in robot mode. Now, Grimlock here looks like one beefy some bitch. I mean, literally, in this show, he's tall, massive, and beefy. And kind of stupid. But that's Grimlock. Anyway, nice detailing throughout the figure for a warrior class. 
But yeah, get a good look at his head. Definitely show accurate. I mean, jeez. Torso's definitely big and broad. Arms, very, very big. Legs. I guess that's what they look like in the show. I haven't seen much of the show lately. But yeah. Articulation. Head is on a swivel. Although it can only swivel left to right. Same articulation in the arms. Swivel before. Hinged in. Swivel before the elbow. Hinged elbow. Which is also a ratcheting elbow too. But very quiet. And do transformation, hinged hands. No waist articulation. He's got swivels, literally, in his crotch. So you can rotate the legs back and forth. Like this. Hinged hips. Swivels just below the hips. Ratcheting joints in the knees. And due to transformation, hinged toes. Now, he doesn't come with accessories because, let's face it, his dinosaur mode is his weapon. Literally. If he's not tackling somebody like a football player, he's literally going Godzilla on their asses. But yeah, that's Grimlock for you, and now off to the next figure. Our next figure in this video review is Autobot Drift. Now I'd like to clarify that when I said he looks like an oddly shaped sports car, I really just meant the front end is weirdly angle angular compared to more sleek and smooth versions of the Drift figures. That he has a tiny ass spoiler. But anyway, still very good vehicle mode. He is mostly orange and black. With a little bit of red. And small bits of light blue for the headlights. Now the orange on here is two different kinds of oranges. We have a painted orange in this middle section of the vehicle mode. And then molded orange plastic for the rest of the figure. It's a little different in person compared to the two different kinds of oranges. But it's still, it's still pretty good. Alright. He has smoky black transparent plastic wheels. Which I like actually. It'd be cool if somebody actually custom put in lights in these wheels. That would make it even awesome. He rolls. Pretty well. And he has weapon storage. He has a longer sword. Or a katana. And a smaller sword. Like so. They tab in these little... Sl either sword can go on either side. By these slots in the sword handles. And these pegs right here. Alright, we've already seen the vehicle comparisons in the beginning of the video, so let's transform this guy. What you want to go ahead and do is get the camera steady. Come on. There we go. Unpeg the doors from the main portion of the vehicle mode and swing them out. Because the arms will be his arms actually tab in these pegs right here this peg right here to a slot right where my finger is and little pegs on the doors go in these little slots right here and then go ahead is untab the entire middle portion of the vehicle tabs in these two pegs right here into these slots right here and just accordion them back like so. Until these two tabs right here. So if I went off camera. Go into these two slots in the rear portion of the vehicle. Like so. Then go ahead and take the figure. Turn it 180 degrees. And make sure you turn it the right way. So you can see the robot. From the robot I mean. Separate the legs. And fold his feet down. 
twice. Because if you take it once, click two further, it goes down like that. So, there you go. Arms, you actually just extend them just a little bit. And when I mean extend them, you just grab this portion here and just fold it back like so. Now, the rest of this transformation is easy. Just take what was the front grill, rotate it all the way back, then take this panel right here, rotate it around so you reveal his head and chest and the QR code thing. And there you have Autobot Drift in his robot mode. Drift's robot mode is definitely samurai-esque, just like his Age of Extinction counterpart. Granted, this is a bit more than this, but still very freaking awesome. Obviously, he's got a helmet. In. He's literally got a helmet on his head with a head crest, which is strangely familiar to his hood ornament. Like so, if I could zoom in, I'm sure editing this video later, you could see he's got Fu Manchu going on there. He's definitely got a little bit of samurai paneling on his shoulders. He's got a little side skirt armor. And feet. Like he's wearing sandals. But, let's go on to articulation here. Come on camera. Stay. 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 Alright. Articulation, head, on a swivel. That's about it. Hinged, kind of, yeah. Hinged just before, wait, is it hinged? No, nah, ball jointed just before the shoulder. Hinged in the shoulder. Swivels just below the elbow. Double hinged. Elbows and hinged hands. He's got torso articulation, a full 360 swivel. His side skirt armor bits actually are hinged, so you can pose them. And if you pose them right, you get full mobility in the ball joints on the hips. You have swivels just be just above the knee. Hinged knees, and due to transformation, hinged feet. Now, go ahead. Now, you can have him hold his weapons in two ways. You can go ahead and actually store him on this armor, armor skirt bit right here, just sliding the bladed ends of his swords through, like so. Or... How I'll usually just pose them is have him hold his swords in his hands. Like this. Now, we've only seen Drift in literally the animation model and on his packaging, so we'll definitely get this guy for sure. He is confirmed he will be in the show. Just like Jazz. But that's for another vi video review in the near future, hopefully. Now, I've seen people say, oh, this figure's not so good. It's not the best compared to the others. I can see what they're getting at. But me, I'm a drift nut. I like it. That and I plan on doing a custom figure for, some, for something I'm planning on doing. So, beware of that in the future. But that's been Autobot Drift, and that's... Go on to the last figure of the review. And obviously our last figure in this review is Optimus Prime. And like I said, he is a full-on semi-truck. Not just cab, or cab with a separated trailer. A full-on semi-truck. Mostly in red and blue. With a little bit of black, light blue, and silverish gray for smokestacks. Which I like, they actually molded in smokestacks. He rolls pretty well on 10 mushroom clipped tires. 
Great detailing, actually. Rivets over here. Panel lining. You can even see fake doors. And he's got molded in side mirrors. Great detailing on the sides of the trailer. Even though you can see the back of the bottom of his feet in the back, but you still get rear view lights in the back here, molded. Underneath the vehicle, you can definitely see what will become what in robot mode. Uh, and obviously you can see his legs from the top. Like Drift, he has weapon storage. And his weapon is a redux of his Anajan Battle Axe. Which just slides in with two little slots right here where my finger is. And these little pegs right here. And two little divots in the end of the handle that clip on right here. And the Battle Axe alone looks freaking amazing. Definitely, definitely worthy for Optimus Prime. But anyway, obviously you can see the QR code thing here. But enough about that, let's start transformation. So, go ahead, reach behind the smokestacks and fold out this panel right here. And folding it all the way to the back will actually complete his legs. Do the same thing for the other side. And I like how you act the molded in smokestacks actually get hidden in the bottom of his feet somewhat. Which is pretty freaking cool. Then you go ahead and rotate his waist 180 degrees. And then separate his legs. And now you have half a robot mode. Let me get my camera down a little bit. What you go ahead and do is now separate the entire cab of the vehicle mode. Okay, this is going to be done with two hands here. Like I said, separate the cab. Bring them out to the sides like so. Rotate them down. And now probably the best part, use of transformation. Unpeg the entire forearm and hand from this peg here that goes into his fist. Which I like. Go ahead and bring that down and rotate it around. Same thing for the other side. And then go ahead and just rotate his shoulder pads around. And piece the resistance. You flip up his head. And there we have the leader of the Autobots in his badass robot mode. Now when I mean badass robot mode, I literally mean badass robot mode. I mean literally, in the show, he's towering freaking huge. Granted, he's not going to be huge compared with the other figures, but in the show, he's freaking huge. Great detailing on the figure all around. I mean, the head is definitely Prime-esque. Very fitting. His torso is actually angular instead of flat, which I actually dig. Obviously, you can see what would be his doors on his chest. His shoulder pads have great detail, even though they're just the size of the cab. His forearms are literally, looks like he's holding boxing gloves. But there is a mod that I haven't done yet where you can rotate the rest of the cab down so you can free up the forearm a little bit more. But yeah, uh, and his legs are freaking big. But yeah, articulation, uh, just like the others, head swivel, but is limited due to not enough space. He's got hinges just before the shoulders right here. He's got swivels in the shoulders. Due to transformation, shoulder pads are on swivels. Ball jointed elbows. And if I had the mod, this would rotate down. So, yeah. He's got torso articulation. I mean, waist articulation. I don't know why I said torso. He's got swivels just before the hips. Hinged hips. Swivels under the hips. Hinged knees. 
And that's about it for articulation. Now, you can sort of store his axe in robot mode, but mainly the only places you can store it in are these pegs right here. Granted, that looks a little weird, but... Eh. Or you can just have him hold it in his hand. Now, we haven't seen him use this his axe yet, if he even has the axe in the show. But yeah, he is definitely, definitely ready to whoop some ass. Alright, let's go ahead and get the rest of the figures in, so you can see the size of them. Now, as you can tell, Grimlock is definitely the shortest of the three. Just a smidge shorter to drift because of his helmet and shoulder pads. But yeah, scaling wise, not sure how these two may be as tall. But compared to the others, he is definitely the tallest. He's only as tall probably because he's a Dinobot. But yeah, out of all the figures released so far, these three are probably the most sought after, I think. Well, maybe Strongarm and Bumblebee, but these three are definitely ones I've been wanting to get so far first. I would definitely, definitely recommend Optimus Prime. The Grimlock, because, well, he's Grimlock. Prime, because, let's face it, I'm a freaking Prime nut. And Drift, if you want to collect them, go for it. If you don't like him, that's fine. But I like him. I'm a Drift nut. I'm a Prime nut. And Grimlock, because he's freaking Grimlock. And he looks like Godzilla. But yeah, that's been my triple threat review of the 2015 Transformers Robots in the Skies. Warrior Class Grimlock, Optimus Prime, and Autobot Drift. May Schwartz be with you, and good night. <laughs>